So it's a holiday weekend and uh, it's Monday right now and I wasn't sure if I was going to go ahead and get the packages ready but I figured might as well. I don't really have anything else to do right now and uh, so I sold quite a few items over the weekend but <clears throat> most of them were very low dollar. Now at the outlet uh, a month or so ago I picked up a whole bunch of these Cards of Humanity Christmas edition cards and they don't sell for very much. They sell for $6.99. So this means I'll probably make you know, like 350 per deck of cards. And I pretty much sold out of those this weekend. So most of the sales are very, very low. But So anyway, I sold 16 items for an average price of $11 each. So here's what sold. All right, so I sold eight of these Whoa, I just sold something else. That's the best sale of the uh, the weekend. All right, we'll get to that in a second. All right, so I sold eight of these Cards Against Humanity Seasons Greetings like expansion pack. It's gonna be real quick to package here. All right, sold two Biddleford electric heated blanket controllers, each to a different seller. These sold for $19.99 each. This is an iPod Classic. It's a pretty old version and uh, I found this at the Goodwill outlet after people have already looked through the bins for a while and I'm surprised nobody grabbed it. I mean, it's broken and it only sold for $15, but it sold quick. This is a lid for an Espresso Arashino, uh, sold for $10. This is a flash unit for an older Polaroid camera, sold for $11. This is full of glare. Okay, there we go. This is King's Quest for PS4. Uh, this is something that I've had for a while and I went to see if it was still listed and it's one of those things where eBay just unlisted it for no reason. So I relisted it and it sold within a day for $10. This is a Wearing uh, Juice Pro measuring cup. This sold for $12. This one's kind of exciting. Something I will never buy again. This is a lot of 595 Scrabble tiles. Uh, I sold a lot of these years ago, but uh, they just kind of stopped selling. Um, so I'd like get them in packs of 100 and 98, just try, just sell them in like near hundreds, and uh, never sold, never sold. So I put them all together, and uh, now they finally sold. I probably had these for over three years, and they sold for 23.24. So this is the item that just sold just a second ago. Uh, this would be the best sale of the weekend. It was. $50 plus $10 shipping. Now I'm not gonna get this out. I'm not gonna ship it till tomorrow because I wanna get to the Goodwill outlet today and find some more stuff. All right, pup, I'm getting ready to take off. Do you want a, uh, do you want a treat? Oh. All right, here we go. You be good girl. Eh. Good girls get two. So it is the beginning of a hectic few days. Now right now I'm going to go take stuff to the post office and FedEx and then get my hair cut. But after that, um, Got to do a few things to get the car ready for a long trip because I am driving to San Francisco for a video job. Going to Fat Rec, uh, record label, punk record label, and filming a kind of an interview and just like B-roll, kind of just make a little video for this art show that's happening there. Uh, fresh haircut, looking good. I didn't have her take too much off, just a little bit to clean it up. Uh, what's next? Now I'm going to the hardware store to get some face masks because California is burning and it's supposed to be really bad right now and we were warned to definitely wear masks because you, your just lungs and throat are going to feel real bad. I uh, also had a friend's band come through Portland a couple days ago and they were touring up through California and their voices were real raspy from that. Uh, from all that, that smoke inhalation. This is for smoke. Uh, you probably need an N95 then. All right. Okay, I'm here. Nice. Yeah, like these ones, N95 is a rating for smoke. Okay. Okay? All right. Thanks so much. You bet. All right, so now I've 
made my way to the automotive shop to get some uh, some engine air filter and a cabin air filter and a new light for uh, inside of the car. It blew a couple days ago. Cabin air filter, engine air filter, new lights. I'm questioning on whether or not they work because the one I took out of there did not look burnt out. So uh, maybe maybe I just had a fuse burnt. So we'll see. Hey, it works. I was hoping to get this stuff in real soon, but I gotta run for a, a shoot at Bridge City Sessions, and uh, I guess it kind of stopped raining right now, but uh, I was hoping to not have to do it in the rain too. Uh, but I'm gonna have to do it in the dark for sure, so I'll get back to it later tonight. Tell me that you love me, you know I'm all ears. If you jumped off a bridge, well, darling, I jumped too. Everything gets crazy when you're up in the air. But there's no asking questions when I'm falling for you. My fingers are calloused from playing so much. My voice is raspy and keeps cutting out. But I can't slow this pen and the song in my head You see, this is the effect that you have on me now Alright, just finished up at Bridge City Sessions. It went pretty well. It was a, uh, a local band. They were uh, metal, kind of black metal, uh, punkish at times. Uh, they are pretty good. They did an extra song and actually paid a rush fee to get it to them much quicker. So, um, I'll be editing that, I'm pretty sure. So that'll be nice, a little bit extra money, and really the more the more uh, video they can get on my table, the better. I just love it. Uh, anyway, now I am rushing to Vancouver, across the river, make sure I'm going the right way. And, and that's where um, my video is premiering tonight at Shanahan's Bar. Uh, Al Perez, and this is the bar that we also did a lot of the filming at on that day. Uh, I wanted to get there at 7.30, but I'm actually, uh, Bridge City went over a little bit longer than expected, and I'm not going to get there till 7.50. So, that's alright. Uh, I'm just hoping that they don't play it yet. And hopefully, uh, either tonight or tomorrow they'll actually put it online so I can start sharing it with friends. Alright, so that was that. Went by pretty quick. Uh, I missed the uh, main premiere, but I guess they just kept playing it, kept looping it for who knows how many times. Uh, he said there was a pretty good response at first. Uh, Al was really excited. I think he was a little drunk too. Almost didn't get in because I had my camera and my backpack with me. And as soon as I walked in, you know, I had to show my ID and the the uh, door guy. He's like, "You're gonna have to give me your backpack." I was like, "I'm not gonna give you my backpack." He's like, "It's policy." I'm like, "Okay, damn it." And I was like, "I don't want to leave all this camera gear in the car." So I grabbed my camera out and left all my lenses in the car, just you know, knowing I'm not gonna be in there all that long. And obviously, it worked out fine. All right, so I'm gonna go home and uh, figure out the final details for leaving for San Francisco tomorrow. Back home and I'm going to quickly change those filters in my car. Definitely doing the engine filter. I might not do the cabin one. Uh, I don't think it'll take very long. So we'll see. We'll just see how it, how it feels once I get into it. I think the screwdriver is the only tool I'm gonna need. Got extension cord to another extension cord to a light. Alright, so there are seven screws around this. Go ahead and take all those off. Pretty dirty. There's a lot of junk in there. There's a feather. Where did that come from? Piece of styrofoam. All right. 
old filter, new filter. Simple as just sticking the puppy back in. Next up to get to the cabin here for we have to open this. Roll one of the dog proof bag rolls and roll it back up. There's these little tabs right here. There we go. Then this comes all the way down, and then you try not to spill all your stuff. Then I'm gonna spill some. All right. Then I think it's yep. Just a little latch right there. Maybe I need some more light. Airflow down. Ugh. Sorry, this is horrible. All right, we're gonna adjust. All right. Then you pull the other one over. Okay, cool. Just like that. Then pull that one out. Same with this. Airflow is down. So it tells you how to get the next ones in. I don't remember which one went in first. This one, that makes sense. And that slides over. Once you get it all the way in. And this one goes in. All right. Close it up and then put everything back together. That was pretty quick. <laughs> 